my goodness. What is up, guys? <sighs> okay, so today I have a back and ab workout. But I'm gonna start with abs because I always end up skipping my ab workout once I'm done. And I told myself I'm gonna be consistent with my abs. So I'm gonna start the workout with abs. Also, I'm doing 10 reps of each exercise. <sighs> so all you're doing here is just straight arm overhead. If you're using a dumbbell, you're gonna place it just like this. And then your legs are gonna be straight out in front of you. And then you're gonna raise your legs up and arms simultaneously and then you're gonna lower your legs to the ground, but make sure that your legs don't hit the ground. Embrace your core as well. Slowly, whoop, and controlled. Three, four. Also to make it more challenging, you can lift your head up off the floor and this really like engages your core. I'm gonna start from the beginning. One, two, Woo. all right. No rest in between. I'm jumping right into the next one, which are alternate, alternate, alternating, is that how you pronounce it? Alternating leg raises. So one leg after the other, just like this. Shoulders and head off the ground. Cause we're gonna make this more challenging, okay? So let's go, 10 reps. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, keep that dumbbell above you, nine, last one, ten. Oh, oh my god, yeah, oh, I felt that. Next, I'm doing knee tucks, so we're just tucking in our knees, so dumbbell overhead, we're gonna raise our legs off the ground and then we're gonna tuck in our knees and shoulders off the ground as well. And 10 reps starts now. down going down on my elbows and we're gonna alternate one knee in after the other like bicycles three seven eight nine Now I'm gonna do a 10 seconds rest and then I'm gonna repeat all of the exercises that I just did for two more sets. This was one set and then we're gonna do two more sets making it a total of three sets. So.
my abs are really tight right now i also added a cable crunch in there because i love cable crunches that's like the only ab exercise that i really do and I did three sets of that as well. So now I'm about to start my back workout. I'm only doing about five back exercises today and I'm gonna do four sets of each exercise. I'm not trying to do too much today. So I'm gonna just take a little bit more of this pre-workout and then I'm gonna get going. And I just wanna zone out on this workout so that I can finish up. So let's go. The first exercise that I'm starting with and one of the exercises that I always do for my sculpted back are straight arm cable pull downs and this is a unique exercise because it involves just one muscle normally whenever we're working our back with other exercises for example if we're going down during a deadlift we're working the glutes and the hamstrings or when we're doing like a pull up we're also kind of working our biceps as well but with the straight arm pull down we're using all of our lat muscles. So with your form here, you should step away from the cable far enough to have your arms extended in front of you and bend forward about 30 degrees at the waist and your arms should have a slight bend in your elbows. And if your arms aren't fully extended, then you need to step backwards until they are. And all you're doing is pulling the rope down with that straight arm and contracting your lats until your hands are next to the side of your thighs and also make sure that you're keeping your arms straight as you're returning back to that starting position. The next exercise I'm doing now are lat pull downs and if you watch my videos you know that these are a staple in all of my back workouts and I'm using a wide grip handlebar attachment. Now I will sometimes of course I do variations so I will use a narrow grip or I will use like a close grip bar and perform this exercise depending on what specific area of my back I would like to focus on and I usually do four sets of each and aim to do 10 to 12 sometimes 15 reps depending and I will always start with a light weight and then move up For anyone that is at the beginning of their pull-up journey or at the start of their fitness journey, you can do assisted pull-ups, you can use an assisted machine, or you can use a resistance band for your pull-ups. Even if you're not at the beginning of your journey, let's be for real because I still do assisted pull-ups whenever. So just do whatever suits you and what you're most comfortable with. I have a wide grip here and also I like to place the pull-ups at a different point in my workout sessions just to challenge my fatigue levels a bit and this is something that you can do as well. next exercise are landmine rolls and these are a great exercise okay this exercise is great if you're looking for a variation it's basically working the same muscle groups this is just providing a little bit more variation from the traditional barbell rolls or the traditional single arm rolls that we usually do during our back workouts so with this you're gonna take the handle and put it around the top side of the bar maybe about 8 to 10 inches away from the weight Get a good palm grip, okay? And also have a nice flat back and stand up just slightly. And from that position, you're going to draw your elbows back towards your rib cage and towards your hip pocket and then come back and you, that's how you perform this movement. And now I'm moving on to a cable face pull. Um, so with this, I'm using a rope attachment. Now you can do this standing up. I prefer kneeling down because it just gives me better balance. And I prefer an inside grip with my palms facing away from my face. But you can also grip from the outside with your palms facing towards you. It's all about per personal preference. 
and what helps you get the best contact. For me, that's the palm facing away. So once you have your grip, you will lean your body slightly back and pull that weight out and down towards your face. So you want to aim high. So think like the forehead area. So keep your chest high here and make sure that your body is far enough away from the machine so that when your arms are straight out, you aren't smacking the machine and you're able to get that full extension. And now I am ending my workout with a bent over barbell row. And I'm using an underhand grip here to bias more of the lats and the biceps. So your grip just boils down to your preference. Again, what is most comfortable for you? But for working your back, I recommend using an underhand grip for the best lat activation. So here again, I'm doing four sets and with this exercise, I don't really go too heavy. I'll usually start with 10 kg and I will probably max out about 20 kg on each side. It's all about control for me, my form. I never want to compromise that. So I'm keeping my weights relatively light, but I'm going to do more reps. And that is it for my workout today. Comment below what you're struggling with on your fitness journey and what videos you'd want me to do. I would actually like to do like a fitness Q&A soon. So if you have questions for me, ask me in the comments, okay? And I'm going to answer them in a fitness Q&A video that I'm going to be posting soon. And with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video.